Rico was a German singer, songwriter, actress, and model. Uh, she started her public career effectively as a fashion model as a teenager in Germany. Um, she moved to New York at some point, started acting in films, um, and uh, this kind of this was around the kind of turn of the sixties of uh, this happened. In 1965, uh, Rolling Stones guitarist Brian Jones got her singing. Um, and she got involved in Andy Warhol's uh, gang of um, artistic people uh, in New York. Uh, he insisted that she sang stuff for Velvet Underground, and so she appeared on their album Velvet Underground and Nico, um, which kind of launched her into, you know, much more into the public eye. Uh, her solo career as a singer then took off from there. She was doing you know, other things as well. Um, her uh, but musically, she was uh, often uh, uh, accompanied or helped along by John Cale, who was uh, one of the members of Velvet Underground, who was also, um, a, a, let's say, a contemporary classical composer at the time. Uh, she considered herself bohemian. Uh, she moved around quite a lot and lived between different countries. She learned several different languages, and she had a long-term her uh, heroin addiction. Her later life uh, was spent, spent uh, in, of all places, Salford and Prestwich, which are in Greater Manchester in, in the UK. Uh, they're not exactly what you'd call salubrious locations. Um, kind of, I, I guess, you know, for an American comparison, this is like New Jersey um, kind of areas. Um, and then in 1988, she died in a, a bicycle accident on the island of Ibiza. Uh, Wikipedia lists her having seven studio albums, uh, which includes uh, the original Velvet Underground and Nico album. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was Nico's third album after the Velvet Underground and Nico album. And it's my first time listening to this album. I have come across her before, but I think primarily through the Velvet Underground album. Um... Uh, what else can I say about the album? So there are some songs on this album that are featured in a film called The Inner Scar. Uh, the front cover, the the art for the album is also a still from that film. And that film starred Nico and her son, Ari Boulogne. I hope I'm pronouncing it reasonably okay. Uh, I would describe this as being weird. Um, <clears throat> Wikipedia describes it as being avant-garde. I think that's those are pretty much synonyms. Uh, so let's see what description we can do. So mostly it's her singing and a harmonium. So a harmonium's uh, like a, a bellows-driven organ, uh, smaller than a kind of, you know, like a church organ or anything like that, all the way down to, I, I don't know what kind of size it was, you can get hand-pumped ones that are quite portable. Um, but there are some other instruments in here, most of which are played by John Cale, who's the... A guy from uh, Velvet Underground. Uh, so this includes strings. I'm not sure whether it might be viola. Actually, I was, obviously I've written down here cello, violin, but it could be viola. Piano as well comes in. Um, there is a trumpet that's played by somebody else. I don't actually know who. Uh, at one point, it's almost entirely devoid of percussion. Um, so it's got. It tends to have kind of fairly full big uh, curtains of background sounds going on, but often most of that is this harmonium. Um, there's occasionally some discordant sounds. There's some kind of scrapey string sounds, a bit like the uh, the Velvet Underground uh, track Shiny Shiny uh, has got that same similar kind of sounds in it. Um, and uh, her singing. Okay, so she's got a really distinctive voice, and I always find it quite hard to describe voices. I don't, just don't have the... Uh, the vocabulary for it, I think. Um, so I I think I would describe this as the, as the closest thing as being like a baroque chorister, so like a choir boy, or well, obviously uh, not a boy or girl in this case, but a bit lower than that kind of soprano choir boy, and also not quite as pure and distinct in the same way. Um, sometimes there's some harmonies going on, <coughs> and um, I tend to, they they seem to be quite nice. I like them. My favourite track on the album is a track uh, 
probably my favourite is, is the track called My Only Child, uh, which is almost entirely vocal harmonies with nothing else going on, and it's, it's nicely done. Um, uh, there's one of the tracks, Le Petit Chevalier, has her song speaking, her son speaking in French on it. Uh, Mutterlein is a song that she's done in German. Uh, the first track on the album, Janitor of Lunacy, is about Brian Jones of uh, the Rolling Stones, who just died, who was a, a friend of hers. Um, and the last track, which is All That Is My Own, is probably the fullest track in having the most kind of stuff going on musically. Um, all in all, it's definitely um, it kind of feels like it's art house, like art house cinema. So it's a bit like, oh, it's a bit like a, a Warhol film. Uh, a Warhol film, or um, possibly even a, a, if it'll mean anything to you, a Peter Greenaway film in some ways, or maybe you know, like that. Um, um, uh, what's his name? Salvador Dali did a film called The Shadow of the Lou, which was really quite surreal, and it's in some ways it's a bit like that as well. It's kind of very much outside the norm. It's unusual. Uh, in some ways, it reminds me a bit of some stuff that came later that was called post rock. Um, which definitely used these kind of uh, chamber instruments, uh, chamber classical instruments. Ultimately, it's interesting, but I wasn't that engaged. There was a couple of tracks that I liked, but mostly it just kind of passed by me. I went, yeah, okay, fine. So it didn't grab me as being uh, <laughs> a, a work of genius. It didn't kind of put me off as being something that I would, I would ask somebody to take off if, I was in their house and they were playing it. Um, I would probably recognise it or certainly her again because it's quite distinctive. Um, but, yeah, so that's my opinion. Um, I'd like to know what yours is, please. So uh, let me know what you think and do so through the comments box. And that's it from me for now. Their hands are old Their faces cold their bodies close to freezing, their feelings fine. The morning small.